I have Crohn's disease and because of a flare up, I gained 15 pounds of inflammation in one day. See, the abs are completely gone. And the issue is that I have lost 158 pounds in the last year getting ready for a bodybuilding competition that is happening in exactly one month. So as a way to quickly deal with the inflammation, we are going to do a 24 hour water fast. See, I personally don't believe in fasting when it comes to weight loss, but I never knock anything until I try it. So, well, here's the time to do it. The fast is gonna start at midnight tonight and we will go until midnight the next day. Midnight, time to get it going. Let's see how much we weigh. Popped on the scale 234.8. To give you an idea, I was at 220 pounds yesterday, which means I've put on 15 pounds. So here's what we look like before, so we can have a bit of an idea of what it's gonna be like. And now it's time for bed. Six and a half hours late. So it's like 7.30. And the first thing I'm thinking about is my usual breakfast. Let's go weigh ourselves, I guess. Popped on the scale and we are already eight pounds down, which is a very good start. And let's just get ready for the day. Now, what's really messing with me is the fact that usually at 4.30 in the morning every day, I wake up to go do my cardio. But today, this is what I get for breakfast. Usually in the morning, you have this great big breakfast that consists of eggs, egg whites, chicken, spinach, oatmeal that you guys find absolutely revolting. Sometimes I'll even throw in some veggies. But today, no, all we got is this. Depression. So the whole point of this is to give my GI tract a break for the day. In terms of water, I'll try to consume about six, seven liters, stay hydrated, and hopefully, you know, some resemblance of feeling full. It's now 9.30 and I already feel miserable and pissed off at the world. And I'm like this close to telling people in the comment section, leaving stupid messages to go play in traffic. To be honest, I don't even know if I'm actually hungry or it's just the fact that my schedule is being altered. That's annoying. Now I have a bunch of work to do. Check back in a couple hours. 20 minutes later. Joke, right? It's kind of a sick joke, really, seeing what is in this package and what I'm having to go through today without what's in this package. What really sucks is that I ran out of terzepatide a while back and I just kind of I stopped running it completely. The fact that I'm incredibly, incredibly hungry today and I get my terzepatide. I wish I would have gotten this like two days ago so it would have made my life so much easier. But I mean, hey, what can you do? And then we started the work day got on a few coaching calls, and then it was time to start editing videos for the 90 day program, including this YouTube video that you're watching right now. Three hours later. So it is now 1.25 p.m. and my energy levels are completely shot. I feel like every time I stand up, I'm getting a little bit dizzy and that's really annoying. Bloated wise, I feel like my stomach is still a little, a little hard on the edges, but I'm not as hungry as I thought I was going to be. I just kind of feel not great. <sighs> Nice that I'm over halfway done. And I do understand why people would choose to fast in certain circumstances. When it comes to weight loss, I find that ridiculous because it's the easiest way to lose all of your muscle gains due to the fact that you're not having actual like protein being processed throughout your body being delivered to your muscles. But there are some cases where it would actually make a lot of sense. Like right now, the fact that I'm not getting a lot of GI activity means that my inflammation is going down. Mm. I know some people also do it just because of the fact that they want to do something hard for them. And that, again, I also understand. Because the more you do something hard, the easier it is to become hard things. But the biggest problem now, I'm starting to be bored. Finished most of my work and my videos completely edited up until this point. Thumbnail's done. And I'm all caught up on my 90 day videos and my one-on-one -on -one coaching clients. Energy levels are shot, so you know what? I might just take a nap. I'll see you guys in a bit. Instead of going to bed, I kept reading my book called Living with a Seal. It's about David Goggins, and I find him to be a massive inspiration in my life because he's one of the few people that has been able to completely change his identity and adopt an animalistic mindset, which is something I can only strive for. Oh. I'm so hungry and I have to go meal prep. Uh. This obviously was a horrible idea this late in the day considering how everything smelled so much better than it usually does. And needless to say, this made things so much worse by making me so much hungrier. 12 o'clock midnight. So we hop back on the scale and 221.6, meaning we're down 13.2 pounds. As you can see, the inflammation in my gut is so much lowered. And when I turn to the side, you can really see the side profile difference in the way that my abs curve. And then when I crunch down, you see pretty much all the detail back. And even in my arms, you can see a lot more detail because most of the inflammation is gone. 
day two. I feel as though there's a lot to unpack here. See, I'm not exactly an advocate for any sort of ultra restrictive diet, and that's anything like carnivore, keto, veganism, or I guess fasting in this case. And I know that fasting has gained a lot of popularity, like with intermittent fasting, where you only have a certain window of time, OMAD, where you only have one meal a day, extended fast, which are like 72 hours and more, or just what I did, which is a water fast, where I only get to consume water. In my case, I did take electrolytes because I have Crohn's and I would have been cramping within five minutes if I didn't. <laughs> but at the end of the day, I am very glad I tried this. This was with my coach's recommendations because my Crohn's symptoms have been getting worse. Nobody with Crohn's should be below anything like 10-ish percent or less. And I'm sitting around probably definitely under seven because that's where I was during the DEXA scan. And I've lost seven pounds since. Now, the reason why I don't think this is good when it comes to fat loss for some people in some circumstances is simply because I definitely see how if your relationship with food isn't good, this could lead to some epic, epic, epic binging. And this almost happened to me this morning. I have a very structured eating schedule where I eat at 9, 11, 15, 1, 15, 4, 30, and then between 6, 30 to 7 p.m. every single day. And I woke up so hungry this morning that I ate not one, not two, but three meals before 11 a.m. So obviously for me, this is not something that works, but I've seen some amazing success when it comes to fasting. A great example of this would be Brentley G. He's lost so much weight doing this and it works for him. So as much as I'm not exactly a fan of it personally, because I did not enjoy it whatsoever, it's hard for me not to see some of the benefits. And although it's not something that I would ever prescribe to someone as a diet if they were my clients, if somebody were to try it and it worked for them, I would be very happy for them. Now, as much as I hate saying this, I think we're gonna have to go a little bit deeper in the world of fasting. So after summer shredding, I'm probably going to try a whole 72 hour fast and documenting that and see how rough that gets. <laughs> so as a final piece of reflection, we are now back at the very low 220s and I think we're finally back on track to making incredible progress. My physique is absolutely crazy compared to what I've ever seen it. I look much better now than what I did on stage and we have 31 days left until summer shredding. If you're not subbed already, please do so. That would be absolutely amazing and it would mean the world to me because I feel like we're like this close and being able to go full time with this. <laughs> but until then, hope you all have a good day.